How close are you to locking in on your lineup? Uh, it's probably in my head. Uh, it's just you've got to get through training. So um, don't like to go too early with those things because yeah, anything can happen at training. So um, yeah, after training we'll sit down as a match committee and yeah, lock it in. How uh, how many times have you played around with that lineup in your head? Uh, oh, it's yeah, it's been there constantly. To be honest, it always is before round one. Um, you know, especially with a few guys that we had miss the Port Adelaide game and their fitness is probably, yeah, yeah, there's been a few question marks there. So, um, yeah, whatever team we put out, I'm pretty confident that, you know, we'll be as fit as we can be and, um, you know, everyone will know their roles and everyone will be, yeah, full of energy looking to um, bounce into round one. Have you settled on a, a forward structure that you prefer and, and what sort of height you want down there? <clears throat> uh, Probably, yeah, probably. <laughs> we'll find out, Savo. Maybe tomorrow, Avo. Has Mike Walters been officially ruled out, or can he get oh, half a game at field or anything? Yeah, he's, he's just with minutes. Is probably probably rules him out this week, and um, yeah, he's still on a, on a build, and we want to make sure we get that right and not do anything silly and rush him rush him in. So uh, he'll play at Peel. He'll play yeah, pretty limited minutes in his in his build, but. Um, it's a really good progression for him and yeah, we just want to make sure we set him up for the season. You know, he's a really important player to us and we want to make sure that, yeah, we, we're smart about it. Sam Sturt, is he a chance to yeah, play his first game? Yeah, he's a chance. Uh, yeah, really happy with his pre-season, really happy with his pre-season form. Um, yeah, we seem, seem to have unlocked a, you know, the, the intensity required and yeah, the effort required and he's, yeah, he's been super not just with ball in hand but um, with the pressure in his contest so um, yeah we'll have to wait and see. Does coming up against Ross even though you said you, you haven't met him play on your mind at all? Uh, no, no not at all, no, no, no he's someone I respect in the coaching fraternity but um, yeah preparing for St Kilda and it's just pretty much for me it's like any other week or any other round one. What's your, your scouting told you about how the Saints will play under him? Um, yeah, it's probably been a little bit difficult to get a full grasp on the way they played, given they played two pretty windy games, which was yeah, wind affected at Moorabbin. But um, the other things that shine out is their, their work rate's elite. Um, contest, contest work rate um, and their ability to put pressure on, on the game. And especially in the second game against Essendon, their pressure was right up and took time and space away from the Bombers. So um, yeah, we'll be well prepared for those couple of areas. They look like they, they want to run a tagger. What gives you confidence that your midfield can handle that? Oh, I think we've got flexibility throughout our midfield roles. Um, we've got full confidence um, in the work rate of our mids to be able to work work really hard. Do they get tagged? And I've got really co real good confidence that they'll be able to work together as well to um, hopefully expose expose matchups. So, um, yeah, it's not that's not a new thing. We've practiced it over the pre-season um, across our intra-clubs and 18 on 18 and it's something we came across a fair bit last year. So, yeah, we're well prepared for that. Does Liam Henry get first crack at, at the wing? Let's wait and see. Um, yeah, Liam's had a good pre-season, a bit like with Sturdy, his intensity and things we've asked him to improve on is, is improved on. So, yeah, he's in the mix. Will Brody, 50th game this weekend. It's been a remarkable journey, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Um, yeah, and no two journeys from any player is, are the same. Everyone goes about it differently. Uh, you know, we were lucky enough to you know, pick Will up last year and he played a really important role for us last year. Um, you know, he's got some real strengths in his game and, uh, yeah, we're hoping yeah, it's first 50 uh, under, the, under the belt and, you know, his next 50 or 100 and, or how many are, um, you know, are even better. How many are actually on the, the injury list? It feels like you, you might even have, you know, 15, 16 guys running around for Peel on Saturday. Yeah, there'll be a few. Um, Planet Peel, which is a good sign. Uh, it's probably as healthy as we've been leading into a season. So um, Trav Collier had a little incident with his knee. Um, yeah, but at this stage, he might be the only one on the injury list. So uh, we're in a good spot. Uh, it's good pressure for positions and, yeah, it's a good position to be in as a club. It's a drastic change from a couple of years ago. Where, where do you credit that change? Oh, this is, yeah, it's not one thing. 
uh, new personnel into our medical department, new ideas with our fitness department. Um, you know, the way we've trained is complemented um, having a healthy list. So I think it's a um, sign of, you know, the whole club working in unison to try and r rectify an area we needed to get better at. So, um, you know, touch wood, it continues. Um, the, these things are never really linear. We'll go through some hiccups with injuries throughout the year, but Phil been able to um, develop some depth on our list as well through those harder times. So, um, yeah, we'll just keep on plugging along. And, uh, you wanted to continue to develop uh, Johnson and Erasmus as pure midfielders. Have yeah. either of them been able to squeeze their way into the lineup? Oh, probably unlikely at, at this stage. Um, you know, probably you know, given their midfield depth and experience in there, it's going to take a little bit of time for them to be able to break into that. Um, but it doesn't change my long term vision of the impact they can have for our club. Um, and they'll go back and make sure they, they work on aspects of their game and continue to develop so that. They are AFL ready. Um, you know, they're only you know, in the, the young into their football career and yeah, it's just starting their second year. So um, you know, there'll be opportunities at the right time this year if they um, yeah, continue to improve on their games. Do you feel any extra pressure this year after the success of last year to improve again? Oh, not really. No, I don't feel any extra pressure. Like, um, yeah, pretty process orientated guy, so we'll, yeah feel like we've got the process right over the pre-season, feel like we've got work into the players, feel like we've talked enough, now it's time to just get out there and uh, let our actions and let our football do the talking. You said uh, Luke Ryan's back uh, a little while ago, it was a tricky one, is there any risk, is he 100%? No, we feel like we're on top of it, so um, yeah, it's, it's tricky in the way you probably bring him back to full training, more, more so than, than games, yeah, we feel like he's got a couple of good sessions under his belt and hopefully he gets through training today and he should be right. You have two obviously really unique ruckmen, different strengths. Do you see one of them being more suited to Marshall this week? Oh, I'm not going to give too much away. I really rate Todd Marshall and the way he goes about his business and yeah, we'll have a plan for that aspect of the game. Have you set it on Josh Tracy over Amos at this stage? Oh, I have to wait for the teams to come out. It's a good question, mate. <laughs> Thanks, Lou. <laughs>